Am I really gonna, is this where I become deceased, hungover, naked, and afraid in- It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. Hey yo, what up world, what's good with y'all? Back with another one. Today we are featuring an obnoxious and or redonkulous amount of Arby's, but that is because I rarely have access to Arby's and today I had full access pass VIP and I really took full advantage. Uh, I, you know, I splurged a little bit, I dropped a little bomb on the wallet here, but you know what? It's just sometimes you got to do it to yourself. Sometimes you got to treat yourself. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, let's get to the pour up and then just get to chatting. I'm, uh, I'm also going to tell you a story about uh, being naked and afraid. Okay. It's a very interesting tale. Quite funny, if I do say so myself. So we've got our iceberg. We're breaching, of course. I have a partially drank road Dr. Pepper that I got while driving. And uh, I had to have a sip, so sorry for that. But you know what? Sometimes you just gotta oh, quench when you're parched. Many ch words, but quench when you're parched, okay? And so we pour like the true professional that we are. Many fountains of the youth, okay? And here we are. Jack and Rose, baby. Jack and Rose. Is that a running joke now? I was so titanic about it in the last video. But next, we must uh, taste test this fine establishment here, PepsiCo. Is it PepsiCo? Is Diet Dr. Pepper PepsiCo? I think so. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is a fine horsey sauce. If I do say so myself. Speaking of horsey sauce, I got a gang of it on the side here. We got, we got barbecue, we got ketchup and ranch as well. So I'm gonna have to crack a few of these sauces open. We also have Arby's sauce as well. So I don't know, let me know, know down in the comments your feelings on Arby's. Cause everybody feels a little differently about it I feel like, but. We must, of course, have curly fries. The curlies are completely and totally where it's at. And I don't know about you, but Arby's, in my opinion, has one of the hottest, most sought after chicken tenders in the industry. So just know that too. They are amazing. Got a honey musty here. It's probably one of my favorite sauces for chicken fingers. Barbecue as well. I'm super down for a BBQ. How could you not be? And I guess I should go through the rundown of what I really got here to, to educate and enlighten y'all as to what I'm doing. Uh, I just need to figure out a spot for ketchup. I guess that can go here. They don't make these uh, mukbang and boards big enough. I'll tell you ladies and gents and some ranch. Why not? We'll do a little Ranch Pulio. Okay, boom. Okay, so first things first, let's just give you a quick rundown of what I got. Over here, we have the traditional Greek style gyro, gyro, however you want to say it. This is a classic beef and cheddar. Got the cheese inside there, how it's supposed to be. This is new at, at uh, Arby's, but I had to get it. It's a steak. Yeah, garlic butter, steak, crispy onions. So we've got steak falling out everywhere, which is good. It's good when there's extra meat falling around. We've got curly fries and of course, the not to be meddled with chicken tenders. These tenders are top tier. So I guess I have to start by saying this. Welcome to all the new subscribers that came from Sauce Queen. She shouted me out in her last video. She is my main B and uh, yeah, like I, there's a, a whole thousand, I think came over in under 24 hours. So like a thousand subscriber jump, that's huge. Thank you so much, Kristen. Welcome to all the new people and everybody who commented on my taco video. Uh, I tried to respond to all comments and just say like, welcome and you know, come be with me now and Kristen as well. We can all be together, okay? We can share. So anyways, it's dope that you're all here and, uh, and enjoying the content hopefully. So let's get into it. 
I need to try, I think I need to try this steak sandwich like immediately is, like, is, is really where I think my head's at. So, but if we're gonna do it my style and sauce queen style, we're gonna need to put some horsey sauce all over it. Now I think horsey sauce is basically like a horseradish mayo type deal. And yes, I like it VV saucy in this area. So this is also, this is the Arby sauce. Let's have a kind of mm, almost like a, what's that stuff called? A1 maybe, is it A1 sauce? So there's like a garlic butter on this which is gonna be prevalent, I have a feeling, but let's find out. Very, very good. Okay. The garlic butter is very forward. It's coming after my taste buds big time. Steak is good. Tender. Mm-hmm. That bite, I got some tomato in there. That was, that was popping, for sure. Okay, off to the side. Let's get a curly going. Tell me how you feel about curly fries down in the comments because a lot of people, I don't know. I get mixed reviews. Some people love curly fries. Some people hate curly fries. I personally think they're bomb, especially with a little ranch. Mm -hmm. I think ranch and fries is a slept on combination. I kind of want to get a bite of everything and then I'll head in to tell you this tale. It's quite a doozy of naked and afraid. It's not a massive story. Like it's not going to have to take a huge amount of time. I don't think so. That's why I'll save it for near the end here. a good one. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm in it for. That level of deliciousness, man, those tenders are good. telling you it is hard to navigate these this board with everything that's going on okay so we got a doner or no not a doner a gyro shout out maybe we pull it open a bit here got the onions tomatoes maybe I should go from that side yeah I should probably hit it from that side where there's more things. Mm 
Meat super tender. Got down in that sauce pocket down there. That tzatziki. The meat is flavored so well. This is the bite right here. You know when you're about to find that bite and you like you know it's the one. When you know, you know. Just when everything blends together, so perfect. That's banging. Like very, very good. So far, that is better than the steak sandwich. And this, of course, is the classic Arby's beef and cheddar. Kind of make it hella saucy. like a onion poppy seed almost like potato roll or brioche good though mm, there you go some cheese pulling through that's a bite that you know is going to be the one Is it me or do I have a sandwich pile? You know life's good when you have a sandwich pile. I can get behind a sandwich pile. Okay. Let's tell you this tale. Make it in afraid. So this summer, okay. Uh, basically, I'll try to cut it like long story shortish. But what happened was is my uh, my my landlord basically told me he's selling uh, the unit that I lived in pretty quickly I had also at the time just previously gotten sick with uh, mono or Epstein-Barr virus and I had a nasty case wherein I uh, took me about three months total to actually become back to regular health And in that time, I was laid up. I had to stop working. Uh, I was burning through cash, tap tapping into savings just to pay the rent. And Toronto rent is not cheap. So I have to move out by, I think it was by June. And, uh, I was hard up for like finding a place. Finances weren't good. Stressed out, big time stress. Basically looking at like homelessness really. So my uncle, he lives in Toronto, but he leaves for the summer to go like to the lake. So the deal was you come stay at my place, kind of like house sit, live there for four months, get, you know, work at this point, like for the summer, um, I worked at Blue Jays job, uh, slinging beers. And then I would also have my regular job back. So I'd be like double hustling plus YouTube 
on my true grind, back to health, uh, living in his house for four months, get my cash together. And then at the end of that time, I was going to go get a new place, you know, somewhere. His house has a basement unit that he used to rent out. Basically, he used to have like a, a rental property in his house, but it's vacant now. And he lives alone. So I moved in down there and was staying there. And some of you guys probably saw videos from that time from down there from a few months back. So down there, there's, it has its own washroom and everything. Just the only thing that him and I would ever cross paths, like if he'd ever come down into that space was he had to do, uh, do laundry because that's where he, his laundry machine was. But other than that, him and I had basically a deal where he was like, I won't in, impede or encroach. Like I won't really come downstairs unless it's for laundry. Other than that, I'll give you your privacy in your space, which is good. Which is like, I'm, you know, that's nice. So he was still living there for a little bit while I was there. But he goes out golfing. So he was out golfing on this particular day. And, um, it was pretty early in the day. He would still, he was going to be out of the house for like, you know, hours and hours and hours. And I had, you know, I had turned it up a little the night before I went out for a little party session with the boys and the girls and everybody in the streets of Toronto. And I woke up, you know, pretty hungover. Uh, I sleep in the nude because it's the only way to sleep. I hate having to wear anything to bed. So there's a detail about me that you know now know. I, I've also said this before on the channel, I think, as well. So it's the only way to sleep. So first thing you do when you wake up, you're hungover. You drag your hurting ass self to the bathroom to deal with things. And uh, so I did that. I go in the bathroom. It's a small bathroom, but I'm naked. I got nothing, nothing on my person, you know, no cell phone, no nothing. I close the door behind me. And up to this point, I had never fully shut the door, I guess, when I used the bathroom. But um, I do my business. And then I go to leave the bathroom. And I'm turning the handle, but it's not, the door's not open. It won't, it will not open. So I realized that basically the handle was busted from the one side, from the inside. So if you close it fully, the, the piece that actually like retracts when you close the door, like, like it was into the slot, that thing wasn't attached to the door handle anymore. So it wasn't moving. So the door handle is just spinning. So. I'm like butt ass naked in this tiny bathroom. It's like all tile and kind of cold trapped in down in a basement, no cell phone, no nothing. And I'm like, I just start like reefing on the door and going like, kind of like, you know, I start, you know, I, I go into pan, I'm, I'm panicking, I'm panicking. I'm like, what do I do here? It's like 11 a.m. At least I know that my uncle's eventually going to come back. So I can yell and scream at some point when he comes back. But I'm like, am I really going to, is this where I become deceased, hungover, naked, and afraid in my uncle's bathroom basement? Like, had he not been living there, that even would have tripped me out way harder. Because it'd be like, no one's coming for me. You know what I mean? Other than if the outside world was like, he hasn't shown up for this and like, we can't get a hold of him. Then they send cops over to like check on me and find my dead skeleton naked and afraid in the bathroom. But at least I had knew, knew he was coming home. 
So I'm sitting there and I'm like, I gotta get out of here. This door cannot be that, that, that tough. So with what little room I had, I just like, I basically like Goku, like Kamehameha, like I powered up. I was like, you know, got my power up and I just, boom, like I just shoulder checked the door so hard. And I, I knocked it like the wood and everything. I blew it off, like the, off the hinges. So the door, so like if you were outside just watching, you would just see this naked hungover man and a whole door coming down into the, in, onto the floor. I basically, I bail onto the floor. The door is blown off. It's on the floor. I actually smoked my knee and like my thigh and shit so hard. Like I, I, I cut myself and got a huge bruise. And I'm just laying, like, laying on the floor, uh, half half in a panic still, but so relieved that I'm not going to die. Hung over, naked, afraid in my uncle's basement, and, uh, you know, lived to see the rest of my life. And it was, I was just, I was, like, I was jumping for joy. Like, I was, I was literally dancing naked, like, so happy I was out of the bathroom and, and could, like, you know, just be okay and like live my life. <laughs> then I proceeded to have to like re hang the door and like I got all Mr. Fix it on it because I was so like just I didn't want to have to admit that I busted down this door. So I framed it all back in and I got it all nice and like you would never know that I did it, but it was terrifying at the time. Luckily, I did have running water, so I would have at least had water to survive off for like, if I was stuck in there for like a month, I could probably make it. basically forced fasting for survival and I do have some fat reserves because I'm a mukbanger or whatever so I would have lasted the month for sure and by that time I do think like a cop or somebody would be sent to check and like find me but yeah it was scary it was legit scary actually like I was like what the fuck like how is this how is this happening to me right now? How, how do I get out of here? How do I live? It's crazy how fast the human mind can like, when, once you're in panic mode, it's like the worst place to be. Like that's when they say don't panic is like, don't panic. In situations like that, you really do have to just keep a logical mind and look at it like, okay, you know, what's the best way to approach this and what is the real, the real reality of like what is actually going to happen here and not like the what ifs and like the, like the, your head just goes to the space of like, oh my God, I'm so fucked. Like I'm dead. I'm screwed. <laughs> you know what I mean? So in those situations, keep a level head, logical thinking, you know, you, you can figure it out. Okay. Well, I'm tapped out. Very delicious spread. Um, I'll probably finish this down the, down the road here, but I am very, very full as of right now. As I force myself into another bite. Once again, shout out, uh, Sauce Queen. Thanks so much for the, uh, the shout out for me and everybody who's newly subscribed. Um, this is the part where I say, I hope you enjoyed this to some degree and, uh, you gotta eat good, live well and stay true.